traders I'm done trading for the day uh, just a, small, a short recap uh, of what happened today uh, here's the daily of the S&P 500 as we can see uh, we had a big bounce from the lows and now we're going sideways for a while the game is not over yet for those of you who are expecting the market to make another turn down from here uh, look at this support area right here which is quite a strong support unless we come under that one 298 at the S&P 500 uh, it's a spy uh, then we're still in kind of uptrending territory so I don't know if it's going to come but the way I see it uh, the way the market came down today look at the S&P 500 it's down 2.4 percent Nasdaq is down almost 2 percent so we are moving lower we are moving lower quite strongly and um, you know look at the fundamentals we don't look well I mean situation is not looking well the way that um, the virus is uh, continues to spread around the world second waves and ev everywhere and everything and the economy is not uh, kicking back in and uh, government still printing a lot of money I mean actually government printing a lot of money is good for the economy it's good for the market not for the economy maybe but uh, still we're holding but there's a big question whether we're going to make another turn down I'm, I'm looking forward this should be amazing if we do that I mean trading wise terrible for the economy but for us traders this should be amazing um, anyway uh, the market did make a big move today and although as you can see here I'm up six thousand dollars actually a few more hundred dollars open in some Tesla IQ and or cut rates which keep coming down I feel like I'm losing money today and the reason I feel like I'm losing money today is well you know what happened to the S&P 500 today the way the S&P came down I mean look at that that's just absolutely amazing and it keeps coming down I, I did not see that coming I mean that was kind of surprised to me we started down 0.8 percent I believe and now we're down S&P is down right now two and a half percent that's a huge breakdown and we keep coming and I just missed almost everything this should have been a tens of thousands of dollars profit day for me and I'm being up over six thousand dollars and I feel like I missed one of my potentially best days ever so seriously if you take a look at the market I did miss it so to start with I did have some shorts I did not follow in didn't um, I was a slightly in green territory then I thought the market was uh, a little bit uh, down too much and I took some very careful longs in Tesla and in uh, uh, and in Facebook as you can see Facebook is down Tesla was down almost four grand or something like that but then my second trade in Tesla the short the one I took under 975 worked out fine so the end result in Tesla is red but um, uh, one green trade in Tesla so as you can see here I've got really two red trades and one two three four five green trades so I've done quite okay for today but moved out too early did not short when I should have shorted did not trust the market to make a big move well the first day is always kind of surprise we never know that it's really coming I'm looking forward for tomorrow because if we're going to have some kind of a continuation of what we had today I will be ready tomorrow and tell you what I did not come to this specific trading day today very well prepared I'm not saying I did not make my homework I'm saying mentally I did not came come in prepared because I'm not having a good week and a half now uh, finally after today I'm back to green for this week it's just slightly green for this week but until today I was down for one and a half week and I'm not used to that and I was uh, kind of speculating what comes next and what I should do next and whether I should lower my size and yesterday I had uh, uh, an unbelievable day of uh, over trading and also losing and so I, I came in today not really trusting myself too much deciding to you know play it carefully you know during the market uh, the time when the market crash I only had two trades both of them were green uh, was what was it IQ and BA I believe and then missed the big move really missed the big move so um, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm, I'm I haven't really done well for the day but you know the first day the first down day is kind of surprise let's see what comes next if the market is going to continue coming down I should and especially after the day having a green day 
I should be okay and you know being mentally capable to uh, show the market or short some stocks in the next few days. So let's see how today ends like. I'm happy to be green but I do feel like again I do feel like I haven't done enough today. So hope you're doing well and I'll see you all tomorrow. Just enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, Scott's going to be here tomorrow. He wasn't here today, but uh, he's going to be here tomorrow. I think he's also taking a day off on Friday. Probably not a good timing to take a day off um, today and on Friday. But let's see what happens. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye traders. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to take Traders free welcome course. It was designed to teach you the basics of Wall Street trading. Click here to sign up for this no risk, no cost offer. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.